Do you think the mayor is targeting the Latino community? What, what I think, I think that that was an unfortunate decision because what it did was it gave the Latino, it hurt the Latino community deeply and it gave them and the rest of the city the impression that that's what he was doing. There you go. So that was the uh, clip. And now we are joined by the mayor of the great city of Danbury, Mark Bowden. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Gentlemen, what's happening? What's happening? So he's referring to the Danbury 11 uh, and that was what, a decade ago? 13 years ago. Okay, 13 years ago. Okay. Uh, and, and one of the quotes in there, uh, we shouldn't round up people based on their ethnic origin. Your thoughts? Well, look, I, first of all, this was a joint operation between Immigration Customs and Enforcement and the Danbury Police Department. We partner with federal agencies all the time, groups like the FBI, DEA, Secret Service, and this was no different. Uh, the ICE, or Immigration Customs Enforcement, has access to different databases where people are wanted on warrants than the Danbury PD does. It's just a different, it's a federal agency, so they have federal assets. And so we provided support to them. That's all, that's all that issue was about. And look, if we were targeting people in Danbury, I would not have been named the Padrino, the godfather of the Ecuadorian community, not once, but twice. Um, so this is just, you know, desperate tactics of a candidate that's trying to divide the community. You know, and desperation is a, it's a stinky cologne, right? I mean, it smells, so it, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, and uh, what I found uh, particularly hilarious is on a day, uh, you know, because the article came out the day prior uh, because he was um, endorsed by the Democratic uh, Latino Caucus, uh, and he had said, uh, what I'm not going to do as mayor is target our Latino community, which is why it, it sounds like a suggestion that you are, and this is why I asked him that question. Uh, well, if we look, if we were targeting the Latino community, we would not be the eleventh most di- the most diverse city in the nation, right? People wouldn't feel comfortable here, so it makes absolutely no sense. And again, it's just a, it, all he's trying to do is just divide up the community, pit people against people. Uh, and the fact is, you know, elections are about the future. Uh, and if we look to the past, we're never going to see the great things that Danbury has done, will do, and and the challenges that we face, and how we'll meet them. And I could tell you were really worried about all of this stuff going on yesterday and the, these suggestions because uh, you were posting videos of you dancing to the bachata. <laughs> Listen, I got skills. Um, Dolores is a little upset at you, but Why? that's another story. We're going to talk offline about that. What but, did I do? Uh, I got moves. By the way, that band, Class A, is awesome. They are awesome. I highly recommend anybody go out and see them. Uh, great music, great sound, and, and it gets you moving, man. It, it really does. Yeah. Now, uh, we have a poll going on because I posted a video of your I dance. Thought. Let's see. <laughs> uh, sure. I wanted to know what people thought of it. Is Mark's dancing good or is it meh? Right now, actually, the question was, is Mark's dancing tight and right or yeah. is it meh? Uh, 75% of people are digging your dance at the moment right now with our poll. What was the dance at Chibata? And that's, uh, at, uh, that's on my Instagram page, at Lumilano79, huh? Was that the Chibata he was doing? The Chibata, yeah, the Chibata, yeah, the yeah, Chibata. The Chibata bread. I, I also doing... got a good merengue, too. I'm good at merengue, oh, too. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, that's the great thing about Danbury, right? I mean, you get uh, all different kinds of cultures and, and all different kinds of flavors and all kinds of great things to do, and, and um, that's what makes it so fun to live right. here. That's why people are moving here in droves. They love the city. You were talking about, you said this is a desperate move. Do you think that your opponent is desperate? Yeah, absolutely. No question about it. And, uh, you know, this is just a Hail Mary pass trying to, again, divide up the community, dredge up stuff from 20 years ago that, um, you know, has long been uh, uh, discussed and, and debated. And um, the fact of the matter is, again, this is about moving the community forward and not just looking to the past, right? There's there's issues out there that you can talk about. There's things that we ought to be, be, be discussing and what our respective visions are for. Instead, we're you know, uh, throwing uh, hand grenades over the fence, trying to, you know, paint people as uh, um, folks that will be terrorizing each other. So it's ridiculous. Do you ever dance the salsa? Here we go. I'm not good at the salsa. Okay. The morning day, I'm good at <laughs> <laughs> All right. Danbury Mayor Mark Bowden, as always, we appreciate That's your time. That's all I get. We're just tightening it up ahead of the election. We want, we want just right. the, the sound bites. You know, we're going yeah. for sound bite machine stuff here. You know, I still, still love you guys. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks, Mark.